It's time for a Zoom lesson. I think for that bit, that last bit has got to be thumb on the 10, 12 hammer on. It's got to be a thumb and then index middle on the 10, 12. Oh, okay, I was using third string. Slightly vary, you know, what you meant to play. As long as it still fits and you still got variation in there, it's okay. Okay, you know what? With that motivation, if that happens again, I'm just gonna go. Do you want to play one of those for me? There's no intro written in, but what you can do, if, if you were to sing it, you could do maybe like two bars of intro of C. So maybe go one, two, three, one, and then start. Every fretted note there is just sliding up to it. All the sound of longer notes put some vibrato. So really just kind of get as much vibrato in there as you can. Is yeah. this how you would write it then with these five? No, rests? so you, what you do is a multi rest maker. So now it's got four, and now we can write intro here. Yeah, so that's the way you do it. It's a, it's a much tidier way of, of writing it. Play the solo on your own. Um... That vibrato is really good. That's really improved. Yeah. So what we're going to work on now, being able to do that with your third finger next to the fourth fret. Yeah. You're quite far from it at the moment, which means you're having to press a lot harder than you need to. So once you get the, right. the stretch there, it's actually going to be a lot easier. Yeah. So it feels harder now because you're not used yeah. to stretching that far. But once you get used to it, you're not yeah. going to have to work as hard for that bend. That's much better. So you, you can try that one with the metronome if, if you like. Great. Well done. Let's quickly work on that B minor chord. So you want a five string bar right next to the fret and just allow your fingertip to just deaden the E string. And if you play the strings one at a time, what does it sound like? Yeah, that's good. Okay. At the moment, your third finger, can you see it's bending backwards? So if you use the fingertip a bit more, that'll encourage it to bend the other way. That's it, yeah, we want it bent more like that way around. <laughs> I think you made some good progress. I think we played like six songs in today in one lesson. Yeah, I mean, I definitely see a big, I mean, like last year I was like, I don't know, like I just thought playing guitar was like black magic, like yeah. just, but then now it just feels like, oh, you know, it's, it's actually very doable.